<laughs> Robin. Everyone's got their winter coats on. Everyone We're ready to broadcast. <laughs> Everyone in their parkas. Holy shit. What's going on with the heat in here today? Coldest day ever here in the studio. Yeah, because it's not that bad out. No, it's not uh, not as bad as it was yesterday. But in here, uh, I think the air condition is on. So there's some problem. Who knows? There is an issue with the heat, and we're all in our coats. It's a hell of a way to broadcast. I know. Like, my nose is cold and running. That's like it, It's like being outside. I want to thank Patrice right off the bat for covering up the dead girl on the front page of the New York paper. No, I'm serious. That's my line. A lot of people ask me, you know, you're, you're a crazy dude. Where, where's your line? Where's your line with all this shit? I can't deal with the dead kids. Yeah. can't deal with that shit. And the Daily News here in New York, they got a, uh, a picture of that girl that was beaten senseless. That's disturbing. That's a disturbing picture, man. They got a picture of her in her coffin. On the yeah. front page of the Daily News, and it says, uh, in a picture taken at our family's request, little Nismery Brown lies at rest. Hundreds of strangers stood online in the freezing cold to pay last respect respects to a girl whose plight touched the city's heart. The system failed this poor little girl, they're saying, huh? Yeah, it happens every three, a few years. I guess no! it just <laughs> does. Like, I... They, they fuck it up, and some kid winds up getting killed. What about that Joel? Remember Joel Steinberg? Oh, and, he, and he killed, yeah, and yeah. he killed that a little kid. That was a few years ago. A lot of years ago. A few years ago. He's already I, out. I still think no one should step in. This this is I, I need my uh, footnotes. All right. <laughs> yeah, get your, yeah, pull your footnotes out Have your here. footnotes ready because I think are you're going to have pocket. a controversial statement. <laughs> I don't think that anyone should step in with what a parent does with each other. Even... It's even with things like that, like this poor girl, you know, she was a victim of life, you know what I yeah. mean? But my mother, if you went back in time and and saw how my mother raised me, you would they would take her away from me. But she needed to fuck me up. My mother used to beat my ass. And like, I need and I how need to though? Not we all shut got... my face in the toilet, but see see how acceptable those beatings were when we were younger. Yeah. It's like now, it's like, oh, you're going to be taken away. We used to get beat. And the kids know that, too, and they'll call you out on You hit me, I'm calling I'm the, calling my, the my, my, my thing. My mother yeah. needed to beat the shit out of me. I used to have be a, um, like a, um, I had a bad arson problem. Uh, if you recall, I was a Ooh, pirate maniac. I just, I just burned shit. Burn, burn. And it was a point where Wait, my what mother... kind of stuff? Like, you gotta okay, explain that. Okay, We used to have, um, screens on the, on the, uh, windows. Like, they were made out of some type of weird metal. Yeah. But they were fireproof. But when you burn them, you can poke your finger right through. So I would burn them and then Ooh. make designs in them because they would just burn, you know, and I would burn paper. All right? It's and, artistic. And eventually, you know, I, I would burn things in the bathtub. I would shoot um, a water guy, a water gun that I would shoot in the in the light socket until the light exploded. It just I was just <laughs> until the until the light bulb just went bow because all the water that was in the thing and I just didn't have any sense and it came to fire and shit. And my mother just couldn't go, sweetie. You know, fire burns and 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 people will die and we got to be careful. She had to beat fire out of me <laughs> to the where I outgrew it but during my outgrowing spurt mm -hmm. I had to be beat out of it till I outgrew it and 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 she beat me one time I was naked and she called the neighbor over cuz she was going to fuck me up so bad she had to let the neighbor know that look at what he did to see if it's justified of what I'm going about to do. All right, because I'm really going to fuck him up. Because I burnt the kitchen floor. I, I, I want a to second cover. opinion on this beating I'm going to throw my kid. <laughs> She's like, why is there a rug in the kitchen? I go, huh? Oh, it's just I thought it would be nice to be put a rug right <laughs> oh, here. Shit. Oh, shit. And she pulled it up. It was just a big burn on the kitchen floor. I mean, I, I, my mother punched me in the rib cage, threw me down the stairs. <laughs> Fuck, she fucked me up. So <laughs> she had to beat fire out of me. She had to That's beat great. fire out of me. And uh, she called the neighbor over, and I'm just sitting there crying at, at what I'm about to get. Yeah. And the neighbor's like, "Ooh, that's a that's yeah. You might have to take it <laughs> just so she can yeah. she justify it fucking me yeah, up." She got a second opinion. So I know a lot of kids. That, that that's why there's a lot of murder, a lot of bad shit happening. Now this poor little girl. I'm not saying she deserved to die or anything like that. I'm saying. That you can't interfere with parents when they have to do what they have to fucking do with their children. Even with motherfuckers like this, you just don't know what abuse is. So you know? you're saying, like, like obviously, in a perfect world, 
you would be able to distinguish what she was going through. What she was going through. To a guy that's getting a beating thrown to him because he likes to burn shit up. Y- yes, yes. But, but in, with the system that's in place, you can't distinguish that, so they'd be taking kids away. They take kids away, and, they, right, and, they, right. and the parents aren't allowed to exact the, the proper discipline, man, the, the proper fear. I stop, I didn't stop flinching when my mother came at me until I was about 14. And that's when she said, okay, that's I'm, I'm done. She ran in there. I was playing chess, and she used to call me, Patrice, come here. And one day I didn't come quick enough. And she came in and hit me with a broom, and I was playing chess with my boy. Uh, and then it, the mental fear was gone where I go, wow, moms, that just didn't hurt. It's over. And you can see her shoulders slump like, oh, well, oh, my job is done. <laughs> my job is done, beer. <laughs> Good luck, sweetie. Good it luck. Was my last beating. <laughs> I did what I could. <laughs> like she just was, wow, wow. Uh, didn't you hear me? Like the same old, didn't you hear me call you with the same rhythm? And I just like, come on, this is getting hacked. Moms and my boy, my, and my boy wasn't scared because usually your mother hits you in front of your friends and they go, oh shit. Oh yeah. And it's just like he looked and I looked like you know we're in the you know we're in the middle of a heat again. Yeah. Chess mums. Mom, could you please take your stick and leave? Yeah. We're you busy here. here. That's so, all you got. That's all you got. <laughs> so it's like this. I, I don't want to get the wrong. You know, sometimes I don't have the words I need to express the situation because you know I you know I say some fucked up shit, but I never say no little girl deserves to die. No. Nah. But I'm saying that. That I I think sometimes it's it's like those sacrifices to be able to have people discipline their kids to be a, so that they don't fucking grow up and be out of control psychopaths, well, man. Well, you know there's a lot I mean? of brats out there these days. So there's a lot of kids. You see them shaking them in the mall, cursing them out, and people go, uh-huh. "Oh, you know that's terrible. Oh, that's not. Yeah. You know, or your buddy, if you you know you curse your girl out, and somebody goes, "Dude, man, she's your girl. She's a nice girl, you know." And you go, you, "Mind you, you don't tell me how to fucking raise my bitch." Mm-hmm. It's like I, I, she's fucking. She's nuts, and I need to talk to her like this sometimes. Did no, you hear it, that? Raise my bitch. Now, a lot of people out there are going, wow, Patrice has a kid. He's talking about no, his girlfriend. No, my girl, yeah. Don't yeah. tell me how to raise my girlfriend, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about raising your bitch. It's not my, not my, uh, no, no, I, girl, I don't have no kids, but I'm just saying it's like <laughs> people that, that interfere with how you do things in right. your home, and it's like, you know what? In retrospect, you fucked that motherfucker, you killed your kid. Yeah. But during the situation, I, you, you know what's amazing? The most amazing part of that story? That uh, blacks uh, play chess. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that is inappropriate. <laughs> Like chess, what? Chess. That's what the, the that's the special part of the story. People just cut off at. Huh? Do you guys ghetto oh, it up? Whoa, 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 you ghetto? Huh? Oh, like nigga, king. <laughs> I bet you guys ghetto up that chess we mix, game. We mix chess and checkers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm double jumping the pawn, nigga. <laughs> we. <laughs> oh shit! Here come this bitch. Get ready. Take your little punk ass mm-hmm. paws, nigga. Mm-hmm. That's how Keith plays chess like that. Keith. Oh really? <laughs> Ah, stupid! Here comes a king! Ah, Norton's good too. Norton's really yeah, good. Yeah, Norton loves playing Norton's chess, really good, but he's not as good as Keith. But how, how do you play chess if there's no kings to capture? <laughs> oh, they leave early in the game. Is they that what you're saying? This is, they leave all, all them it, pawns it, just it, sitting there. <laughs> them poor pawns with that queen. It's so funny the race, the cleverness that racism brings oh. people. <laughs> king and queen. There's what no do you know king, about a king? There's and queen? no king in it. King fucking leaves. All the pawns are sitting there. Yeah, no fucking king. The queen's got to go out and do something, so they leave all the pawns at the fucking bishop. <laughs> Look at that pawn, Maury. It looks just uh, like him. The game ends when the, uh, your opponent captures grandma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, oh, look at this motherfucking racist. just. Just fucking Roddy Dangerfield with the racist jokes with them. How you go? Oh, is that your is that is that your pawn is daddy? <laughs> 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 fucking asshole. <laughs> oh, you know you, you know what the, what the issue is with with this whole case is a it, it's <coughs> you think that people are in place to to watch this shit and actually take care of it, nah, they can't and watch you, it all. you learn after a while that. Everybody's job, no matter how high the fucking president to the people of social services that are supposed to look after these kids, are all just going to work every day, trying to do as little work as possible and get paid as much money as they can and put in their time and then go home and watch American Idol or whatever the fuck else they want to do. No one wants to... You, you want to think it's like a fucking movie where, you know... 
fucking Denzel's going to bust in and go, we got to save this child and, and, and pull him out and go through this big controversy and put his job on the line to show that he cares. And, and they never take no away. No one cares. They never take away the kid, that kid. They never no. save that kid. They always save me. They yeah. save the motherfucker that lights the they, building on fire. Yeah, they right. save the one that needs to be there. They, they yeah, save the one absolutely. that needs to be there. And, and it's like, but that what you're saying about, I say this all the time about terrorism. It's like, just stop. We we can't win. You know why? Because some cocksucker, when I go to the airport, some cocksucker that goes in from 8 to 4 mm -hmm. is trying to protect me against a guy who breathes killing me. <laughs> That's such a great point. So you you punch oh. out, nigga. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You're you're done. Your terrorism's over for you. Yeah. Yeah. But this motherfucker is thinking hardcore about how to murder me every second how of the fucking day. Do I day. kill him, my friend? How do I kill him? It's midnight. How? I will plan to kill. Three in the morning. Must <laughs> kill him. But six a.m. Got to kill, kill American, kill them. Yes. And this guy's like, what time are you doing? All right there, uh, Benny, I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Punching out on terror. I'm punching out on terror. I'm done. Goodbye. So Screen's here. Now it's your turn to look Golden the Globes are on. I got to get home. I got to get home. The his, wife, ah, ah, the old ball and his chain. His job. His yeah. fucking, it's not a lifestyle. It's not no. a, a, a culture. You want to think it is and you hope it is, but it ain't. I feel no safety at the fucking airport. No. Nah. Not, okay. not, there's not a bit of appreciation or, 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 or thank you or nothing at the fucking airport. Dude, nah. the last flight I took, uh, the guy going through x ray, whatever, and the guy goes, There's something in your bag I can't identify. And then he's uh, calling a guy over because he's going to go through my bag. Ooh. But then he goes to me, uh, it's what? not mine, baby. He goes, What, you know, what, it, what could it be? I'm like, Ah, could be, I guess, my PSP's in there. Ah. Huh. Oh, all right. Takes my word for it. <laughs> I bought a brand new Xbox 360 from California done, in a he... bag. In a bag. Un Unwrapped uh, up mm -hmm. in a fucking box. Xbox 360. As big as that fucking thing is. I can go in and turn that motherfucker into, you know, super, now, super bomb. Now, to their credit... The machines that it does go through, color coded, it will pick up explosives and show it as an explosive. So if you put your PlayStation through there and there's no co explosive color, then they know it's it's right. probably you, okay. They also you know, know, know. How do you fucking know that though? What? How I do watch you know? Discovery Channel. How do you know what the bomb thing is? It's not because like, like it turns up a certain a color. In that motherfucker. It's like they got. I doubt it's fucking Yosemite Sam with the cannonball and the fuse coming out of it. It's usually some type of plastic explosive. The chemical composition of an explosive shows up as a certain color. And I don't think Opie walking through there is really fits the pro. I know they're not supposed to profile. Opie could go through toting a fucking tow missile launcher on his shoulder. They let him on the fucking plane. But see, that's uh, the next uh, problem is going to be someone like me, though. Do you oh, really yeah. think a oh, white sympathizer yeah, is man. not far away? No, fuck yeah. yeah, dude! I don't, you know white that's what sympathizer. You I'm not looking at guilty. the Arabs at the airport anymore. I'm looking no. at all the uh, other crazy fuckers. I don't know. Hell yeah, not not white. But well, you, you were the terrorist before Arabs hit hard. You know, white people were the militia guys. The militia guys were the fear. You know what I mean? The government, yeah, kind of, kind of right. thing. So we got dead girl on the front page of the paper today, and uh, also yeah, it's pretty disturbing. The other story we were talking about as Ecstasy of Gold was playing was uh, good old Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> executed the oldest inmate there in California. What was the guy deaf, dumb, and blind, or something? <laughs> he was just, he, God took care. God gave him a death sentence. Fucking man. guys on death row playing uh, pinball, and fucking Arnie comes in and kills him. <laughs> uh, governor, Governor, uh, could you let him off the hook or anything? No, kill him. <laughs> I he he was like uh, some badass motherfucker though back in the day, right? <laughs> there he is. He's uh, we're watching him up on television. Yeah, I had to kill him. He was of an inferior race. <laughs> I, my father was a Nazi. <laughs> we got to get some clips of Arnold Schwarzenegger if the guys are listening in the back. Well, everyone it's thought, I guess, because, you know, he's a Hollywood guy, and when he was presented uh, with the first case where he was able to, uh, he had the opportunity to grant clemency uh, to somebody on death row, and he didn't do it. 
And now he's just, ah, cook him. I could care less. At least he's equal opportunity, though. Fucking Tukey and oh, then fucking some yeah. old cracker who just... That's right. He's got two in a wheelchair. Oh, yeah. Two already. Really And they both together. begged him for forgiveness. Please, yeah. Arnold. We he, was like, he was like the last fucking guy. <laughs> he was the last chance these guys had was Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know, you know Tukey <laughs> probably enjoyed his movies and shit. I love fucking Predator. Uh, he's like, ah, oh, Tukey. Um, I do the worst Schwarzenegger, but it's like, ah, oh, give me three lines from Total Recall you can live. <laughs> Alright. Um, I, uh, I am Predator <laughs> who played the guy with the big helicopter machine gun. You answer that, you go free. <laughs> <laughs> Give me anything. <laughs> That's too good. Anything. Give me anything from Running Man. Uh, Give me anything from Running Man, but not the Predator. <laughs> One of my catchphrases from Running Man. <laughs> Give to me. <laughs> <laughs> what did I tell the guy from the Warriors in that other movie? <laughs> what did I tell him on the rooftop when I... <laughs> <laughs> and you can go. Oh, oh shit, shit, Arnold! Shit, man. You know, man. I haven't. I saw it. I, I didn't swear. Get TV privileges until two years after that shit. <laughs> Damn. You know, I, know I saw it, Arnold. Terminator Two, nigga. I know the mud. You put the mud on yourself. Uh, and the predator couldn't see you and shit, but kill him. Kill him. Oh my god. Oh, that's, and that's, that's who oh. we think he is, man. I, they, they should just have him with the fucking, that big broadsword from Conan and just have him lop the heads off. <laughs> I told you not to lose your head, Tukey. <laughs> with, with one of his fucking catchphrases afterwards. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. He turns backwards to Tukey, and then with the with the sword, he turns but turns his back to him and acts like he's walking away, and then turns around and lops his head off. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Filmed in slow motion for the press. You tricked me, Arnold. God damn! I thought you were gonna let me go, motherfucker. Well, shit. <laughs> Damn. Uh, yeah, he's the guy now, man. The power over life and death. Well, well, we got Patrice O'Neill in the studio. He's doing this Web Junk 20 on VH1. Yep. The show's blowing up. And you uh, showed a clip this past week of Arnold Schwarzenegger in, and, and, uh, in Rio. Brazil. Yeah, in Brazil. He was going crazy, dude. This and I was looking at that clip going, Hold. now this guy's basically running a nation. Yep. And that was he back running when... running a small country, basically. People don't understand. That's back when roids were legal. Like, oh, oh was yeah. A, like, look. It's like that. what you did. Do we have that clip here? I don't he think is we do. a he was a roided up fucking like animal, dude. Like Arnold was roided and crazy and yeah. hyper, and it was legal to be that. And that was back before like sexual harassment. Oh yeah, you know, like before you know, bitches actually go ah, oh, like any little thing. They used to take everything like up till rape. Like they would take a uh, uh, an ass squeeze, <laughs> and a tit squeeze. They wouldn't cry about that shit. They'd that like, was nothing. It's like, you know, and then if they complain, it'd be, they'd be complaining to a motherfucker that was just like Arnold. So right. it's like, you know what? Ah. Uh, Whatever. Hey, well then stop wearing a skirt, sweetheart. <laughs> that was back when it was their fault. Ah, hey, you, you want to walk, walk into the guy you're supposed to complain to and he's calling you honey. <laughs> All right, honey, sit down there, sweetheart. Ah, <laughs> uh, he squeezed what? What he squeezed? Squeeze there, your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the way you dress yourself there, doll. <laughs> <laughs> you got your stems poking out from that little skirt. You're an attractive girl. You can go far if you just give a little. <laughs> you know, they can fuck. Right out in the open, just right. give that. Just, that's back before all, you know. We called it the good old days. The good Patrice. old days. <laughs> you know, it was like, you know, then, then the Glorious Steiners came, and it's just a fucking. Over. You don't fuck around. Now you can't even say hi. But that, ha, he ha, was have a good roided day. up, like roid roids. Not, fu not, and he admitted it. It wasn't like yep. these new, these new tricky roids. It was just like, I'm going to, ah. So he's. He's in, in Brazil, Liar. just, and, and you know, he got women trying to teach him different words, and it's like, um, to the band. And he goes, ah, to the band. And she's like, um, you know, desculpe, por favor. And he's like, ah, booty. <laughs> and he's just like, ah, making a sucker carrot. <laughs> Serious, Get the fuck out of here. He made a sucker carrot. And, 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 and she's so uncut. And I'm like, you know, Brazil is a country full of, pro like, not Brazil, but Rio, where he was, mm -hmm. prostitutes, man. It's just 
prostitutes there. Infested with prostitutes. And, and, and that's back when it was hard. It was beautiful. Pre-AIDS and the whole shit. And he was just making women so nervous, man. And she's just trying to wow. be gentle. And she's trying to like do the, the arm hook drink. Thing where you know hook or hook his arm. And what was the context <clears throat> of that? Was she interviewing him? Or? She was. He was there for. Uh, oh man, he was there for the, some was bullshit. The festival. Yeah, for the festival. Carnival. Just riding through the riding through Brazil with Still his muscles and oh. doing his thing. And the, every time it was like it was supposed to be for culture, but it always ended up like, I was squeezing a tit and <laughs> bumping the ass and, and hand goggle hand <laughs> glasses and. <laughs> And just and the ladies and they play they was playing the teaching a motherfucker in different language music. Bing ba bling. Oh <laughs> no, and he's just groping. Desculpe, por favor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I pick you up like a six pack. <laughs> Bend over. <laughs> I, let's go to Eric in Georgia real fast. Eric, what's up? Hey guys, what's going on? Hey. Uh, how crazy is it that two U United States governors uh, came out of a movie about a Pre invisible yep. alien? Yeah, yep. hunting down people. Wait, who's the other predator? Jesse, Jesse, Jesse oh, shit, that's right. yeah, man. Ah, you don't know that I put you to death. <laughs> Holy shit! I do not know. Come on, <laughs> stupid me. Yeah. Maybe from like a serious movie, like you know, like a, like a river runs through it or something. No, it's about some fucked up <laughs> you know, fucking predator. Anthony Hopkins is the, is the governor. Yeah, <laughs> something like you know, <laughs> Robert Redford does sound like a better right <clears throat> governor. The situation. horse whisperer as the governor. <laughs> right. You know, it's it, no, it's get to the chopper. <laughs> ah, yeah. I ain't got time to bleed. Yeah, fucking <laughs> <Like the> governor. <laughs> you are the governor, of. <laughs> That's because the American people. Love that shit. They love it. <laughs> oh, I. And yeah, was, and, and, come on, do it. Come on, what are you waiting for? <laughs> come on. And you know, he was running off of his movie quotes. He was using them as oh, a platform when dude, he was running for the governor, you know, dude. All the news is calling him the governor. The governor. And I'll be back. <laughs> uh, yeah, we know. You'll fucking be back. I'll say uh, hasta la vista de taxes. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm looking for Sarah Connor and everyone else's vote here in California. <laughs> all right. We get it. We get it, Arnold. <laughs> you were in Terminator. All right. <laughs> is, is he the governor in the lead as far as executing it, uh, inmates there? No. Fucking George. George W's got to yeah, have no, the record. I mean, the current leader. I mean, the, you know. Well, he's no, getting the most. He's getting the most. You're not Dude, hearing we, about somebody in Oklahoma. I think we reinstated somebody in Oklahoma every second. Oh, gotta we be. reinstated the death penalty here in New York. How long ago now? 12 oh, years? We got too many fucking how long? liberal uh, guys. I know. Amazing. Dude, it was when Pataki got in. So how long ago was that? Over 10 years. Over 10 years ago, we we reinstated it here in New York. The and death the, penalty. Not even, a, not even a hint that it was we were going to use we it. We have district attorneys. Not even something close where even at the last no. minute, Something was good. They don't even try people under the death penalty. They don't right, try I, I them. Don't think many and people no one on goes, oh, I was acquitted. Penalty. Oh, thank God, I'm not going to get the death penalty. No one's even tried. They don't even take the case to court under a death penalty case here in New York. Because the death, because death penalty, in, 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 conspiracy theory here. Uh huh. Oh boy, it's a black white thing. <sighs> hey, oh, hey black, well, white suck thing. it up, yeah. you motherfucker. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Most of those type of crimes, yeah. right? It's rare you get a Tukey crime that where you get a, 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 a death penalty case. Mm -hmm. Most death penalty is like you know Richard Ramirez, some crazy cracker eating somebody's face. Yeah. is like death penalty, you know. So they the drug laws are the worst here because blacks and Puerto Ricans are doing are selling drugs mostly in this town. So you go to jail for twenty five years for selling a bag of coke and more time. Then if you would if you if you murdered a motherfucker in Harlem, so change the drug laws. Th that's what they had the drug laws there. That's the conspiracy is the drug laws are there to put the people they want to put away. They make the worst. They make the crimes. Oh, oh the pun They make the punishment I to put the you. certain groups that they want to put away. So if they want to put white people away, they make it a crime to work. What white collar <laughs> shit exactly? Right. I got gotcha. you. Stealing now pa I stealing paper clips and right. calendars. <laughs> they will put motherfuckers in jail for ten years. White people will be in jail. That's like we're building the liquor stores in the neighborhoods. Yeah. Yes, you are. Yeah. And selling the guns. The yeah. guns. When are the liquor store closes down, who is it? It's it's Jim O'Brien Realty who owns the fucking building. They put in the liquor 
stores in. Saul Bernstein. I'm not, I'm not blaming. I'm not being a victim here. I'm just saying yeah. it's the law. All you know right. what I'm saying? So I'm saying that's why New York gets no death penalty. You know, unfortunately, I got no positive proof to come back at you with and say no. <laughs> so, so I got nothing. So we'll go to Chris in Saratoga. Chris, what's Uh-oh, up? Chris. <laughs> nah, he's he's going to back us uh, up a little bit. Chris. I was a Marine in the Gulf War. And a platoon sergeant would ask us what is best in life, and we would all say, uh, to crush your enemies, see them breathing before you, and to hear the lamentation of the enemy. <laughs> yeah. That's from Conan, baby. Yeah. Blow shit up. <laughs> they were quote Arnold before they... That hit. is Conan, man. Dude, Arnold shit. made some badass shit. Punch it out, fellas. All right. Maybe it, the top, he's a top five uh, uh, superstar of all time. He his made movies. some badass movies. Even man. his bad ones are good. Arnold yeah. is... It was a string of bad 80s ones. The Running yep. Man, Commando, uh, 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 um, Predator. Commando. Commando's it, great. What's the one where uh, at the beginning he's playing with fucking uh, his daughter? Jenny. I, I, in the pool. Like, it's supposed to be this tender, sensitive moment with him and his daughter. And his daughter is, uh, what's her name from Who's the Boss? Is that Commando? Oh, that's Commando. Commando. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and it's so bad. It's typical bad 80s movie because you're supposed to... They're supposed to show in a very limited time that he's got this close connection with his daughter because the action's got to start. So they can't, like, make this protracted long thing. So they do this montage of him and his daughter uh, eating ice cream, and she puts it on his nose, and he's like, ah, ah, ah. like that big, stupid, fun laugh of Arnold's. With 80s music. Yeah, bad we 80s gotta music. We got to do it right. Yeah. 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 We got to do it. Exactly, yes. <laughs> and it just makes him look like a kid toucher. Uh, like it does. It's not this father daughter thing because uh, she's taken by the bad guys, and you know he's got to get her back. But and they just want they want to uh, get this relationship down, but uh, not interfere with the action. Let's <laughs> ten minutes. I want fucking gunfire. And it's and. And he's always a regular uh, English. He has a regular American name. Like, what's your yeah. name? Ah, Peter Morris. What? <laughs> ah, John Winters. What? Ah, John Winters. <laughs> Everybody in his life is American. His daughter is... Ah, 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 William Berger. What? <laughs> There's not enough syllables no, in your name. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> My name is John. What? C H what? Chan. 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 Wow. Fantastic. Chip. Chip. My name is Chip Williams. <laughs> what was what is it? What was his name in Running Man? Uh. Uh, uh, the the butcher oh, of Bakersfield. Uh, what was his fucking name? Oh, oh, now we gotta find out. I'll punch it up. Oh, God bless fucking Arnold. You can't. He's just. But now it's like his legacy. You didn't want to see this be the thing that he does. Ben nah. Richards. Ben Richards. I am Ben Richards. <laughs> ben Richards. Ben Richards ain't born in fucking Austria. Ben Richards. I'm Ben Richards. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's Arnold, dude. That is the governor. He's just saying. Oh, no. I mean, let's. I mean, be, to be fair to the guy, yeah. These guys were on death row. I mean, he happens to be the unlucky guy that they're up for 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 uh, their death. Yeah, penalty. You're the last hope. He's the governor, but I mean, let's face it. It's not like the the state. They were there before. What did old there. wheelchair crippled blind guy do? He killed three people, man. Three Shot people. Three people in cold blood. Ruthless. He was a ruthless dude, uh, yeah. man. He was he was a bad dude and you know and he was a real redneck you know what I mean he has a, every picture he has an AK forty seven just like like every picture Tukey no, was just like, I don't see really anything wrong with that exactly because you got if, a couple of pictures if like, you <laughs> all these pictures of me if I kill someone all them pictures come out someone is, someone's uh, calling you out there Patrice John in Florida Go John ahead. what's up boys hey what's up man? Hey, I I got a serious question here. I love you, Patrice. You're hilarious. But how in the hell did you get a female Irish person's name? It's it's I'm I'm <laughs> named after. Point. Can I can I just I, I give him the history behind it? Yeah. My name is Patrice. There was a black guy, uh, uh, the Congo president back then. I was born during when black people named their children. They had to name them after somebody important black. So there's a lot of Marcuses, a lot of Malcolms. You know, my middle name is Malcolm. So. It was a toss up. My mother let my her cousin name me, and she was. It was a toss up, either Patrice, or his last name, which was Lumumba. 
Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! So wow, it was like my mom. She wasn't yeah. drinking that day. <laughs> my mom is like, "Look, we'll go with fucking a girl's name and deal with it, but we're not gonna Lumumba. let my son live with Lamumba." You wouldn't live with Lamumba. There'd be free Lamumba signs <laughs> right before your fucking electrocution. You don't go through life with the name Lamumba. <laughs> it's not like. And let's bring up the vice president of IBM, Lamumba, Lamumba. Uh, Let's bring him up here now for the keynote speech. Uh, no, that's free Lumumba as their fucking candlelight vigil is outside the penitentiary. I'm named after I'm named after Patrice Lumumba. In France, my name is very manly. Is it? Yeah, Patrice yeah. is Patrick of France. So. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's better than that. My middle name's Malcolm, so I mean... I, well, you yeah. made that make sense, I gotta tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could have been Lumumba. Seen a few more Patrices, though, around. <laughs> Girls, mostly. Nah, I've seen a few guys with the Nah, you're Patrice. the only Patrice I've ever run into. Yeah, yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Rob, bitch, rob, bitch, bitch, rob, bitch, 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 b